Welcome to our first Bomber Camp Report. I'm Ed Tate alongside Gary Lawless. Gary, uh, let's get right to it. The Bombers rookie camp is starting behind us. Quite the off season for these guys. In your mind, uh, what's been the, the biggest uh, thing that's happened for this club over the winter? Well, for me, really, I think it's the changes that they've made on the offensive line, and in particular, Stanley Bryant. They went and got perhaps uh, arguably the best offensive lineman in the Canadian Football League now that Brett Jones has gone to, to the NFL. If he comes back, then you know, then you have a discussion, I think, between uh, Bryant and, and a few other guys. But Bryant, right near the top of that list, that gives Drew Willie you know, the expectation that he's going to be protected, he's going to be more comfortable. That's the blind side. He's going to make sure that Drew Willie isn't picking himself up off the ground. Uh, I think it was 76 times uh, the quarterback was, uh, the quarterbacks were downed last year. That's an incredible number, worse than the league by a mile. And uh, really, it starts with that. And I think Don Picard, he came first, but what he does, Bryant does things, you know, technically in terms of a size and ability and, a, a, you know, a real first class import tackle. Don Picard is the cream of the crop in terms of Canadian offensive linemen, and he brings something Canadian football, three down savvy. And then, Ed, as you like to say, one of my favorite lines you wrote all winter, you know, just this side of being a criminal out there on the field, that's Don Picard. And I think that changes the complexion of the offensive line for the Bombers entirely and really gets them off to a good start. Yeah, you mentioned the old line. It has to begin with what they've done there, but I really like what they've done with their Canadian talent too. They've got some flexibility now. You mentioned Dom Picard, Jamal Westerman. We're going to get our first look at here, the ex NFLer, Garrett Wagner, who's kind of a pseudo Canadian, the guy from Sarasota, Florida, whose grandfather played for Hamilton. A lot of Canadians. Sam Hurl in free agency. What's happened now is that they don't have to just start seven Canadians. They've got the flexibility potentially to start eight, and and that's dramatic. That's what they're good teams in this league do. What about Drew Willie? New uh, new deal for him this winter. What what changes now in terms of expectations for him? Drew Willie really started out well last year and got people's expectations up and then fell off in the second half of the season and and that's you know the Bombers saw themselves go from a team that was in the playoff hunt to falling out of it. Well that's what Drew Willie needs to do is to be consistent for the entire season. If he can play you know close to that level that he was at at the start of last year for the entire season well then the Bombers win you know north of 10 games and you know maybe we're talking about a, a playoff game and Man, wouldn't it be great if it was a home playoff game, right? All those things start to come into play. But for me, one of the things that, that Kyle Walters still needs to address to help out Drew Willie is the receiving core. There are some guys that really underachieved last year. We'll see if they, you know, if they improve along with the offensive line and Drew Willie can do what, what he did last year, then you have some real good answers on offense. You mentioned receiving core. One other area that's sort of a question mark is the linebacking core because Ian Wilde's gone, Johnny Sears is gone to the Hamilton Tiger Cats. So there's a couple of vacancies there. They seem to have the people there to fill them. Uh, one of the guys that you've already talked about that's kind of catching the eye already is Danico Allen. Let's talk a little bit about him. Well, Danico Allen, and I think I should also keep your eye on Chris Randall because I think he moves from the defensive backfield and he'll play, he's big enough, he'll be a linebacker. They're going to plug him where Johnny Sears was, I think, right. at the Sam linebacker spot. So, so look for that. Danico Allen, uh, you know, had... I think he started his last 40 games in a row at Michigan. He was a big time player there, 278 tackles during his four year career there. Started for all three of those years, uh, was a letterman in all four years. This is a classic guy that, you know, if he was a little bit bigger, he's playing in the NFL. He's just a little too small to be a, an impact player in the NFL. The Bombers are starving for a middle linebacker. I, you know, he knocked Moamba. We'll go with Wild for a second. Wild's a nice player, but he was hurt. He wasn't in that position, so he didn't get a lot of consistent, dominant play at middle linebacker last year. He knocked Moamba was really coming around, and it looked like he was going to be the next great middle linebacker for the Bombers, and he ends up in the NFL. you got to go back to Baron Simpson, really, to a guy that was fantastic at that spot for the Bombers. If Danico Allen can come in and, and start to, to look like he's going to be the next Adam Big Hill or, or Solomon Aluminium or, you know, those names that we know in the league, Shea Emery, that play middle linebacker with a real ferocity, can track a guy down, 
can go sideline to sideline, can rush the passer, can stop the run. If Allen is, turns out to be that kind of a guy, then the Bombers have got, I think their defensive line is going to be better. The Westerman uh, acquisition that you talked about was big. But if Allen can come in and really have an impact at middle linebacker, the Bombers are going to be much better on defense. We're uh, just getting started here with rookie camp. Three days of that. Medicals on Saturday, Sunday, the main training camp starts. It's going to be interesting because people always get excited at rookie camp. There's almost three stages to a training camp. People get excited about the rookies. Then you see how the rookies match up against the main camp. And then you really don't get answers until the preseason games and the regular season starts. We're going to be here for the entire training camp. For Gary Lawless, I'm Ed Tate. This has been Bomber Camp Report.